Tonight we decided to check out uh, a night market, which is kind of unique, not something that typically happens here in our city of Edmonton. And it's being held at the Edmonton Aviation Museum. So I just figured we'd go for a little drive and check it out and see if there's anything interesting there. So I'll take you along for the trip. <music> So just pulling up to the Aviation Museum, you can see the planes there in the uh, foreground. Uh, and it looks like a pretty busy little market. I mean, the parking lot is absolutely jam-packed. Even the side street is packed. So who knows if we're even going to find a parking spot. <laughs> oh, it looks like that guy got the last one. The Edmonton uh, Aviation Museum um, is built on what used to be our municipal airport. So we have an international airport just outside of Edmonton. And then we had a municipal airport for smaller aircraft right in the middle of the city. But that's been closed for about 15 years. So they've made use of one of the hangars and turned it into a aviation museum, which is actually quite an interesting place to visit. And of course, I uh, like to look for miniatures and I found this little bin of uh, miniature animals, which are quite sweet and they're made out of uh, um, real, real stones. So uh, I'm just kind of looking through it, seeing if there's one that uh, appeals to me and uh, yeah, they're kind of neat. And as you can see, it's kind of a market that's full of handcrafted goods. So this lady did some nice little uh, crocheting. And I thought, yeah, that's my size, but that's a mouse skull. Yuck. <laughs> so you can see here that uh, there was every kind of handcrafted thing that you could possibly imagine. But nothing really for miniatures. Um, I did uh, pick up one small item. Check out how they were displaying these earrings. Isn't that so cool? It's like a 112 scale uh, little stand. So I did buy this little guy. So it's a little Dalmatian made out of Jasper. So I shall call him Jasper. And I think he's really super cute. So with the natural spots in the Jasper stone. And uh, yeah, he'll be a nice little addition to one of my houses. Um, yeah, I couldn't resist him. He was only $5 and uh, super, super uber duber cute. I just love him. So can't wait to put him in one of my dollhouse scenes. And uh, that's the lady that sold him to me. So I'm quite pleased with them. I actually went back to see if there was a second Dalmatian, but I got the only one. And then uh, a couple weeks ago, I was uh, out garage sailing, and I was able to pick up this little peg doll. And uh, it's quite old. I The lady that I got it from was quite elderly. So I'm not exactly sure the age of this, but... I thought that that was really super cute. And so I picked that up as well. And uh, my friend Christine, who has been a world traveler this year, uh, went to Turkey and Greece. And I said, oh, when you're in Turkey, if you see any little miniature rugs, bring me back one. And this is what she brought me. Even though this fellow was purchased in uh, Turkey, he's actually a Greek Orthodox saint. So he's uh, Saint Demetrius. And uh, you can see here that he's got a sword. He's wearing a Roman soldier's costume and uh, rides a red uh, horse. But look how beautifully this is made. Just absolutely lovely piece of tapestry. Um, it will be a little bit too long to hang in one of my dollhouses if I keep the little crosses that are attached to the bottom. So I will remove the crosses just so that he will fit. But 
just absolutely delightful. I just love that thing. Just really cool. And then uh, after I did the music room, my friend Pat went through her stash. And she doesn't build in 124 scale. She builds in 112. And she gave me these little instruments to go inside my music room. So I've got this little wooden music stand, which I think is just absolutely perfect. Yeah, that's um, just perfect for the music room. And then I've got this little trumpet. And that is just like the perfect size. And then she also gave me this little saxophone, which again is perfect 124 scale size. And uh, this little violin, which of course I can't leave it gold like that. I'm going to have to paint that one. And... Uh, yeah, that music stand just fell over. <laughs> and then she also gave me this little uh, French horn. And the French horn is so cute. Yeah. So I think all, all of these instruments will look just fantastic in my music room. Thank you so much to my friend Christine as well as Pat for these lovely little gifts. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe as it really helps my channel grow. And I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers. It's not even funny. Once I reach 1,000, I'm going to have to do a giveaway. So please subscribe and hit that like button. And please tell your friends about my channel. And once again, have the best day ever.